What's going on guys? Appreciate you stopping by. Welcome to the channel. So I have seen recently some controversy surrounding whether or not you should freeze rice and whether or not rice that's been packed in mylar with oxygen absorbers for long-term storage will go bad if it freezes and then thaws. So it's always been my understanding and practice that I freeze rice for three days or so, take it out, let it thaw, go to ambient temperature, and then that's when I would mylar pack the rice. And the reason for the freezing is to kill weevils or other insects. Now, I don't know when this opinion changed. So I have a ton of rice that I've done this way. And in addition to that, I also have moved recently. I was in Kentucky and then I came to Maine. And when I was in Kentucky, I left there in winter. It was cold. And I had a cargo trailer that I stored most all of my stuff on it, including my buckets of rice. And it absolutely froze. It thawed and then froze again. That probably happened a dozen times. And then when I moved to Maine this past February, guess what? It was really cold. I mean, it got down well in the negatives. And I have no doubt that that rice froze for days. And then at some point it would thaw and then freeze again. So I have a five-gallon bucket of rice that I'm going to cut open and we're going to take a look at it and then I'm going to make one of my favorite prepper meals and that's uh, rice and chicken. It's just rice and chicken and before I, and I'm going to turn the camera around and we're going to cut it open but when I say rice and chicken what I'm talking about is chicken broth. I basically boil the rice in a mix of chicken broth and water and then I used canned chicken as the protein that I'm adding to the rice. And I think it tastes fantastic. I add salt, pepper, um, and then usually I'll use some like, oh, believe it or not, steak seasoning or, or uh, blackening season, seasoning. And it, it turns out really good. It's very inexpensive and I can also pack it in sealable bowls and I can have uh, lunch, you know, to take to work, stuff like that. So, all right, so let's cut this bag of rice open and see if something inside doesn't jump out and attack me. All right, first thing, let me say that this is not gonna be the easiest thing to do one-handed. <laughs> so this is, this is a five gallon Mylar bag. It's just the one that I happen to bring in. And I'm going to just cut it open with the scissors. And uh, you can see the oxygen absorber. Exorber, can't speak today, sitting right on top. And looks and feel and smell it seems just the way it was uh, when I first put the rice in the bucket. So I'm going to scoop out uh, about a cup of rice, maybe a little, maybe, up, maybe I'll do two cups. And I'm gonna cook this up and I'll show you the results. Right, we're back. So I boiled the rice in chicken broth with a little bit of water and season it with some salt and pepper and um, I'm done. I've tasted it. I've survived so far. And everything is it's good. Not a problem. So what's the takeaway from this? I, I can only speak to my experience. And again, I don't know what changed because I never heard that freezing rice was bad until, you know, if something popped up in you know my YouTube feed or something. The takeaway from this is for me, I have samples of rice that were froze prior to being mylar packed, and then they were put away, and then 
due to temperatures, cold temperatures, they froze, thawed, froze, thawed multiple times, multiple times, and then remained frozen for weeks in Maine, where it got way, way cold. And then they thawed and, you know, got up, it got exposed to ambient air temperatures, you know, let's say 70, 75, they warmed up to that. And, you know, opening uh, the bags and looking at them and cooking them and tasting them, they seem absolutely fine, which is the whole reason and purpose for Mylar pack and rice is because it's a fantastic way of long-term food storage and very inexpensive. So you got any thoughts on this, please comment below. And uh, I will say keep prepping. And since I'm uh, doing this test on rice, go, go buy yourself a 20-pound bag of rice in Mylar Packet because I think we're going to need it. You guys stay safe. Take care. We'll see you next time.